Jutting out into the vast Atlantic, the coastal town of Chatham embodies the rich seafaring traditions of Cape Cod. Chatham Light, the town's iconic landmark, continues to serve as an operating United States Coast Guard lighthouse. Chatham is home to 20 National Register of Historic Places, including the Old Village Historic District and the Historic Business District. The Chatham Windmill heads this prestigious list. It is also known as the Colonel Benjamin Godfrey Mill, the last of the town's 11 wind-powered grist mills. The Chatham Marconi Maritime Center focuses on Guillermo Marconi's visionary global wireless transatlantic communication system. The Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge, established in 1944, provides vital habitat for many threatened and endangered species. Experience all Chatham has to offer, past and present, at the Atwood Museum, a vibrant and ever-evolving collection of a dozen dynamic galleries. The tour starts with the Old House, built by Chatham Sea Captain Joseph S. Atwood in 1752. Five generations of Atwoods occupied the Gambrel Roof House from 1752 to 1925. In a column for the Chatham Monitor, Alice Walker Guild highlighted a prevailing concern. It's too bad that we are losing these treasures of the past to outside people. We must keep them here. Columnist Guild's advice? Well, why not try to do just that? As a result of these efforts, the Chatham Historical Society was founded in 1923 and incorporated as a nonprofit in 1926. Alice Walker Guild served as president for 31 years from 1925 to 1956. When members learned of the Atwood family's desire to sell their 1752 family homestead, a committee was formed to raise $5,000 to purchase and make essential repairs to the oldest house in Chatham. In 1927, the house opened to the public as an example of 18th century domestic life on Cape Cod. Each room of the old house reveals its colonial era customs and sometimes curious oddities like the cat hole in the stairs. The family cat was shut each night in the basement to perform his duties as chief mouse catcher. Expansions were added to the museum in 1948 and completed in 2005 to provide space for the society's growing collections. The rescue of the Pendleton exhibit honors the daring exploits of the crew of the famed CG 36500. On February 18, 1952, they risked their lives to save the crew of the Pendleton. The actual CG 36500 is docked today in Rock Harbor, Orleans. The Joseph Crosby Lincoln Room is a tribute to the life and work of a man considered the Cape's most prolific author. The Antique Tool Room is a popular exhibit. Levi Atwood ran the town store where necessary tools could be purchased. Among the fascinating artifacts are the cranberry sorter and scroll saw. The then and now double take photographs of Chatham depict this seacoast town 100 years apart, a captivating study of time and place. Another exhibit chronicles the importance of Chatham's fishing industry, the backbone of the town's economy and identity. Depicted here are the various techniques used throughout the centuries. The attached mural barn houses the nationally renowned paintings of artist Alice Stalneck. Originally on display in the Congregational Church, Stalneck's murals capture a world where men and women created a cooperative, caring society. Atwood's gallery spaces are available for small rentals and small special events. The Atwood Museum hosts a variety of lectures by compelling national, regional, and local speakers, and also offers a wide variety of special events for adults and children. The museum's lower levels house the archives with designated rooms for the preservation of clothing, textiles, and artwork. These prized collections offer rich research opportunities for history enthusiasts, 
Research times are available by appointment. To the left of the old house is the Nickerson North Beach Camp. Built in 1947 by Joshua Atkins Nickerson, it provided a well-outfitted vacation retreat and contains much of its original furnishings. Due to the ravages of wind, waves, and tides, this is one of the few of the once 50 camps rescued and donated to the museum in 1990. In front of the museum entrance, a few Chatham treasures are on display. The Manili Bells were commissioned in 1919 for a clock tower overlooking the old harbor. Today, the bells entice visitors to ring their melodic chimes. A Native American Witu honors the Cape's Wampanoag heritage. The people of the First Light were the original inhabitants of Cape Cod over 10,000 years ago. Visitors are also invited to step up and view a working Fresnel lens from one of Chatham's historic twin lights. The Atwood Museum embraces innovation to preserve and share the challenges of the past and encourages all to experience and celebrate the Cape Cod town of Chatham. Welcome to the Atwood Museum.